Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new reset of Archon Prisons, obviously the Azkaban realm. We are fresh off of the Skyblock versus series and this realm literally reset about an hour ago. And guys, I am so hyped to play some prisons again because I played two Skyblock maps back to back. And I was honestly kind of missing prisons, but we are back on it. I am going to be grinding on here because this season, although we are not doing a versus series against another YouTuber, we are going for plot top number one. And let me tell you this season, there is a ton of comp right now. If we just look at plot top, this is my cell right here. We are already the third richest cell on the server, but we have L dance right here. These guys usually win number one like every season i believe but right now the people who are holding number one are these guys right here now i don't know if you guys have been watching my channel for a while but if you have i have competed against these guys before on prisons literally like a year ago on a completely different server and now they are on the archon so we have a lot of comp and these guys right here actually sky grind they played genesis as well and they are a top island on there. So right now, there is legit a ton of comp. But your boy is going to be grinding. And we are going for plot top number one this season. But obviously, alright, the server's only been out for an hour. It is start of the world. So I have my brand new December crate right here. I don't know how good this thing is. But if we can win like a godfather rank, that would be huge. For very obvious reasons, um, a 500 pickaxe I don't think we really want tokens would honestly be really good because apparently they nerfed the eco on here for this season so it's a lot more like grinding and stuff which i'm cool with because you guys already know i am a grinder and we also have five legendary keys right here if i right click this you can win a lot of tokens from this i think that's pretty much the main thing we want to win from that or an upgrader pickaxe obviously is very good as well anyways we're gonna go ahead hop right into it because i am already kind of far behind because i'm starting late and i want to grind to be one of the top prisons players this season so we're gonna go ahead place this monthly crate down hopefully oh my god oh my yo we won mc i've been wanting that for legit seasons guys i am so sorry i had no clue it was about to be that loud i forgot to turn down my mc sounds but it's fine we got a winter tag i'm actually probably gonna rock that as well and mc all right that's pretty much all we really got from that side and boom oh my god it looks like we won some tokens yo let's go we will take that 75k and another 50k and yeah, that's honestly pretty much it, but I will take that. That is actually a lot of tokens off start of the world, especially because this season is super, super grindy. But we still have five of these legendary crate keys. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. We want 75,000 tokens. Let's go. I have got to turn down my Minecraft sounds because these crates are ridiculously loud, but boom, first roll was a W. All right. We have 200,000 tokens right now. I would not mind some more if we can win it. Obviously a rank. Oh, oh, we were so close. These are actually garbage. These candies are not good. Ooh, okay. You know, I said I didn't want this pickaxe, but off start of the world, I guess this pickaxe is going to be pretty good because we can just use it. Obviously, we're not really going to upgrade it, but it comes with fortune 500 and token scan 500. So honestly, we're going to use it, but we're just not going to upgrade it. And yeah, we still have two legendary crate keys. We are getting insanely lucky on this start of the world opening. I'm not going to lie, but let's see what we get out of this one. Um, All right, doesn't look like anything too good. Yeah, our 50 mil value blocks, that'll help to sell out, I guess. But here we go with the last and final key. Can we win some more tokens? Oh, 100K. Oh my God, we won the 100K. Bro, let's go. Wow, these rewards right here were actually all good. We had 100k tokens, two more legendaries, and then just straight two ranks right there. Guys, I am very, very happy with that opening, but my plot leader actually paid me a billion dollars. So we can go ahead and just start ranking up just a little bit. I'm not sure how far this one bill is actually going to go, but we're going to go ahead and check it out. Wait, yo, we are legit running through these ranks right now. Okay, it looks like we have finally ran out of money. And what mine are we even at? Oh, wait, we're at mine R. Yo, this is my island member from last season as well. Oh my God, how, why is this guy here? 
Guys, he is one of the uh, co-leaders on the richest plot right now. I think one of my members actually took a screenshot. This guy is crazy. I'm going to throw it up on the screen right now. He spent an absolute bag on this season, okay? I don't know how much that is, but that's at least like five Cray Key bundles right there. And he bought way more than that. So that's probably why they're the richest plot right now, literally because of that guy. But I promise you, it's not going to stay like that this season, all right? We are coming for plot top number one. Even though those guys literally used to run prisons on the server i played like a couple years ago i refuse to lose to them this season but right now we have a huge huge advantage because we got so lucky with our crates because we already have fortune 500 on this pickaxe so we are filling our inventory pretty fast in 4.8 million in inventory right now we need 350 mil to rank up to rank s i'm probably just gonna cut the video here we're gonna go ahead and knock out a couple ranks and hopefully reach at least mine z in this video i don't know how much that's actually gonna cost but i'm pretty much gonna be mining all day on this start of the world but uh yeah with that being said i'm gonna find out what i should be spending my 300 wait we already have 316,000 tokens wait yo this pickaxe is actually kind of nuts because they nerfed token scan as well this season so you should not be making nearly as many tokens as I was like in the last uh, season of prisons I actually played. So yeah, we have a fat advantage right now. But I'm going to go ahead and take a cut. I'm going to figure out what I should spend my tokens on and mine for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, guys, we are finally back. It is legit hours and hours later. We're actually at a brand new mine right here. And guys, this season is honestly unbelievably grindy bro like it's actually kind of crazy basically guys the strategy on prisons is usually on start of the world you want to boost like someone who grinds a lot and you want to boost them up to like mine z as fast as you can and then they will continue to prestige usually you do that to like one or three people maybe and then those three people that you know obviously grind a lot will help everybody else out on the cell so i think that's what my plot has been doing because shout out to two fame for you this guy is on my plot and he's already prestige five all right keep in mind this is hours after the last clip like it's legit five in the morning right now but obviously he makes a ton of money at prestige five and i'm only making like what what was it like 12 million a cell which is absolutely garbage so he went ahead and paid me a hundred trillion dollars to go ahead and rank up which let me tell you it's not a bad investment because i am going to be grinding this season so we are going to rank up because i cannot stand making like 10 million a cell anymore and right here boom we need one more rank to get to mine z and now we are here to prestige we actually need 235 trillion but that's not bad at all let me actually see how much we are making a cell over here and i'm still using the 500 pickaxe as well all right so right here we have ourselves a full inventory we are now making wait what 91 billion compared to our what was it like 10 million in like just a couple seconds ago that is actually ridiculous Ooh, and i haven't checked plot top recently because again it's five in the morning now so it is quite some time later and okay we are beating these guys right here oh my god wait we're actually destroying the number two spot but we are number two and then l dance of course, they are number one with about, you know, maybe four times our value. Again, these guys are cracked, okay? But the goal for the season is to take number one eventually. But now I think it's actually time to start upgrading our own pickaxe because the reason why you don't want to upgrade a 500 pickaxe is because you can't disenchant any of these enchants off. And obviously this season, there's a ton of custom pickaxes. There's ruby pickaxes, uranium pickaxes. And you want to be able to move your enchants from pickaxe to pickaxe this season. So we're going to go ahead, grab this just bare starter pickaxe that you spawn in with. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade it. So guys, on start of the world, the thing that you want to go for off rip is maxed fortune. Okay, that is no doubt. Ooh, 60,000 tokens for a level 100 though. We're honestly going to buy like two and hopefully those all work. And then the rest of our tokens are going to straight level 10s. But it's pretty obvious why you want maxed fortune. You want your inventory filling up as fast as possible so you can just make the most amount of money. And we should probably spend maybe a little bit of tokens on upgrading our backpack. Because this is just the default right here. And it fills up pretty much instantly. But I do 
have another trick for a start of the world uh strategy that i'm probably going to be showing off in this video as well so we're going to try and add as many of these books as possible they only have a percentage of working though and here are level 100 books these aren't terrible rates this one's 71 percent so i really expect that one to work but it's fine because we still have another like hundred fifty thousand tokens left over but jesus christ a lot of these fortune books actually aren't working we're only at fortune 60 right now all right we're at fortune level 110 but we have this level 100 book and it didn't work oh my god neither of them worked bro there is no way all right well we just spent the rest of our tokens again terrible rates on the level 100s that one didn't work and that one didn't work bro that is so annoying dude jesus christ four level 100 books did not work and now we are stuck with fortune 150 after we spent like 400,000 tokens on fortune thankfully guys we at least have the slash outpost right here we are actually controlling it and if you guys didn't know holding the outpost gives you two times the amount of tokens and that's pretty much all we really care about the 1.5 xxp boosters will actually be very useful here in a bit whenever we get to refining candy but yeah we are now down to pretty much zero tokens a very low fortune level so i think it is time to pull out the strategy so i'm gonna go ahead and take a cut just really quickly i'm gonna go set this thing up because we just got robbed all right guys so it actually just came in if i take a look at my inventory um, or we look in chat. I bought a bomb bundle. Okay. Now to me, this thing is completely, completely worth it because you will get infinite candies for like pretty much the entire season. Like I don't think you'll really need more and candies on this server. Biggest part of the economy, dude, to become OP, whether it's tokens or money, anything. And yeah, basically what you get is you get these candy bombs and you get these mine bombs. So guys, right now we actually have this backpack in our inventory that has 300 slots. We're definitely going to need more than that, but it's fine. All right, because this is filled pretty much right now with a bunch of of useless candy that does not matter like it has no use on the server because the only good candies really are jolly ranchers warheads and then starburst so we're gonna go ahead and sell the candies in this backpack really quickly because yeah no one is going to use them which is why they're still in this backpack because you take out all of the good candies and i'm going to need a lot of space for all of my mind bombs as well so we're gonna go ahead boom or wait no we have to left click and that sold for 8.8 .8 trillion, I believe that is, which is not bad, right? But let's go ahead, go to slash um, mine really quickly. And then now what we need to do is you want to find a decent spot where not a lot of blocks are mined. And then basically, um, wait, oh, let me change all of my backpacks actually to candy really quickly. Boom. Make sure that's strictly on candy. This one's already on candy. And then you place down the candy bomb. And then right after you throw a mine bomb and it collects all of the candy for you so you guys can see off of one my bomb we got 50 stacks of candy right here and we still have a ton of mine bombs to go so we're gonna go ahead keep doing this process over and over until basically oh wait that one kind of messed up but basically guys i am going to do this process over and over i'm gonna be selling all of the useless candies probably off camera because we don't have that big of a backpack so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take a cut right here and i'll bring you guys back once we get all of the good candies oh my god the mine reset that actually sucks we missed out on a lot of candies right there but we will just go ahead and keep going because we have a ton of mine bombs all right boys we are finally back that did take a long time to claim all of that candy but we did do it and if we take a look at pv2 Keep in mind, every candy in my PVs right now are actual good candies that could sell for a lot of money if I really wanted to sell them. But let's go ahead, take a look. PV2 absolutely stacked with candies right here. And if we go to PV3, we have another like half a dub, you know, not anything crazy, just half a dub of, you know, good candies and stuff. But guys, Jolly Ranchers right here, these are already delicious, so I don't even have to refine them. These sell for a ton of money and guys right now my cell leader is on so i'm just gonna trade him a stack because he just paid me 250 trillion dollars and he's obviously a higher rank than me right now so he will actually make more money with those jolly ranchers than i will but with that we can now prestige 
Shout out to my cell once again. But yeah, Jolly Ranchers are actually worth a lot. And if I just PV2, like we still have a ton. So definitely, definitely worth it. Because now we are about to hit our first prestige. And with this prestige, okay, the reason why it is so important to get first prestige as fast as possible is because if we look at the free world challenges really quickly i believe it's right here and then it should be lifetime challenges right here and then what is it now um token scan 1000 book wait place a thousand pumpkins all right hold up they switched it up it used to be like sticks i don't know how hard this is gonna be well guys i actually had no clue that they changed that challenge to freaking pumpkins so I'm not even sure if it's worth going for at the moment, to be honest. So it looks like we're just going to have to keep on grinding this season because, yeah, our pickaxe is not looking good at all. But we still have this 500 pick that we're using for tokens and stuff. And we are at the brand new Prestige 1 mine. Like, bro, there is almost nobody here. Like, being at Prestige 1 right now is actually pretty good. I see one other person here, and that is it. But I'm honestly probably going to pop um, some delicious Starburst right here. Because if you guys didn't know, these give you a 3 times token boost. And right now, we just really need tokens for fortune for token scan all of that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead hit this really quickly Ooh, i'm wondering if we make like a substantial amount more money as well here because this is the prestige one mine and the more you prestige obviously the more the blocks sell for so oh my god that is 500 bill right there so every two inventories we are going to be making a trillion dollars that is not bad at all Ooh. They added how long your candy actually has left. I don't think that was in the last season I played, but that is actually super, super helpful. Okay, I have been grinding off camera, and if I actually do slash free world, I did complete the challenge to get this token scan 1k book. It honestly wasn't even that hard, to be honest. So, boom, we are claiming that, and then now we have a fortune 1,000, 100% um, success rate that we are going to throw onto this pickaxe because we desperately needed that man we also have another 130k tokens that i've grinded off camera as well that we're gonna try and get fortune on or maybe i should just go in uh with the backpack upgrades can i even afford one okay we actually can't all right so there we go we used all of our tokens on fortune once again a seven percent level 100 nice yeah that's sick bro all right, 68%, finally one worked, and that's a level 10, and then another level 10. Okay, we are like one for six out of the level 100 books, but it's fine. All right, because they're going to start working eventually, but that is probably going to do it for this Prisons episode. We are Prestige 1 and Plot Top. We are one of the richest cells on the entire server. And yeah, off camera, I am just going to grind out a ton of tokens, keep upgrading this pickaxe. And then I believe we're also going to be going for the ruby pickaxe in the next episode as well for multiple reasons. But we will go ahead and get into that in the next episode of Prison. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure you drop a like, sub if you guys are new, all that stuff. If you want to come hop on the Prisons realm as well, go ahead and connect with royal.archonhq.net. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next Prisons episode.